In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called intersection of two linked lists. So write a program to find a node, uh, node at which the intersection of two link, uh, singly linked lists begins. So for example, the following two linked lists begins to intersect at, uh, intersect at node C1. So in this case, C1 is right here, and that's where they start to begin to merge, right? So in this case, uh, what we have to do is we just have to return the node that that, um, that they intersect, in this case, is C1. So here you can see we have an example of a um, linked list. So basically, we have a list A, list B, and then um, in this case, basically, we're trying to uh, find a node that where they intersect. So in this case, um, the intersection is going to be no... Uh, yeah, so it's going to be uh, no eight in this case. So that's what we're returning. Um, so the explanation is that the intersected nodes value is eight. Note that this must be uh, this must not be a zero if the two link lists intersect. So from the head of A, so this is the head of the A, and it is read as four one a four five. From the head of B is five six one. A45, so there are two nodes before the intersection node A, um, and then there are three nodes before the intersection node in B. So one way we can do this is um, we can use a um, hash map to see, to store all the, um, the node onto a hash set. And then if there is a duplicate, then we, we know that that's the node that um, they start to intersect, right? But the, um, but the question at the bottom says that we want to do this in a constant uh, space complexity, so constant memory. So let's take a look at a couple more examples. Um, so here you can see we have another link list, and what we can do is we want to we want to find the, the intersection point. In this case, is going to be two. And what we can do is we can have a, a two pointers, one pointer traversing for, starting from the head one, the other one traversing starting from the head B. And if they start to um, um, like equal to each other or point to the same node, we can just return that node. But this is not the case because um, like list, sorry, uh, head A and head B are starting the length in this case is not the same. So you can see skip A is the length is three and skip B, the length is one. So in this case, there is no way that they are going to um, basically starting at the same length, right? So they're not going to meet at the same position if that's the case. So um, let's take a look at another example where we have a link list that doesn't have intersection. So if there doesn't have intersection, what's going to happen is we're going to return null. So how can we do this problem? And basically, um, you can see that right now, um, if we were to start traversing from head A all the way to the end of the, the list, is going to be the length is going to be five, so we're going to traverse five nodes. And if we were to start from head B, traversing to the end of the link list, it will be three. So it would take three nodes to traverse to the end of the link list. So in this way, um, there is very impossible to get head A uh, or the um, head A pointer point to um, the intersecting node at the same time with head B. Right? So in this case, there's no way that head A is going to point to head B at the intersection node at the same time. So what we can do instead is, is we can basically um, get, them get them to traverse at the same length. So in this case, there are five nodes that we're traversing for if we were to start at um, head A. And if we were to start at head B, we'll, we'll, have we'll have to traverse three nodes. So what we can do instead is we can, after we get head B, finish traversing the link list, we can get this head A, sorry, head B, start at head A to start traversing. So in this case, the head B will start traversing from here. And this way we can ensure that they all start at the same, so at the same, uh, basically meet at the same um, intersecting node at the same time. And we also have to get head B after head B traverse the entire link list, we also have to get head B start to traverse again at starting at head B. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is we're going to 
So you can see that after we traverse three nodes, we have to traverse one, two, three, four, so plus four to get to the intersect node, which is seven. And for head A, you can see after we traverse the entire link list, we have to start start at head A, oh, sorry, head, head B again. So in this case, um, it's gonna be one, two, so plus two, basically it takes us seven traver to traverse seven nodes to, to, to get to the intersected node. Okay, because here you can see this is the size of X. And let's say this is the size of Z. Let me just clean this. So basically here you can see this is the, uh, the size X. The size here is, um, let's say A. And then, well actually let's make this A. So let's say this is the size A and this is the size X. And this is the size B. So if we were to traverse, uh, if we were to go from A plus X plus B, it will equal to B plus X plus A, right? So in this case, they're at the same position, okay? They're, we basically travel the same length by just adding the other um, other length, so other uh, list length in this case, we can be able to traverse the same length. And if we were to traverse at the same length, we can still be able to meet at the intersector node. So now you know how we can solve this problem. Let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So to do this problem in code, what we have to do is we have to start at um, creating some uh, the pointers. So in this case, pointer A is equal to head A and pointer B is equal to head B. And then if A is equal to null or B is equal to null, then there, there, that means that we don't have a point or we don't have an intersection. We need to at least have two lists to have a, a intersection. So in this case, what we can do is we can just return null because there's no intersection. So what's going to happen is we're going to start traversing. So while A does not equal to B, what we have to do is we have to move them one to the right. So A is equal to A dot nest and B is equal to b.nest, but there could be a situation where um, where a is null. So if a is null, uh, what's going to happen is so let's say a is null. What we're going to happen is we're going to get a. Is, we're going to get a is equal to head b. Okay. And if b is null, what we're going to do is we're going to get b is equal to head b. Sorry, head a. Okay. Okay, this will basically basically um, circle back, not circle back, but like point to the other uh, length, so the list to traverse. And then if there is a situation where A is equal to B, then what we can do is we can just return either A or B, it doesn't matter in this case, because they all add the same, uh, they all point to the same node. So that will be the intersecting node. So now if we were to run the code, and now let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So basically, it's pretty simple. Um, our goal is that if there is, if they reach to the end of the list, then we're going to get them to get um, either node point to the other node, uh, the other starting node or the head node starting or the head, yeah, like the other head node. And then we're going to start traversing again until they equal to each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to return either node, right? So in this case, um, Basically, the time complexity in this case is going to be uh, a, uh, yeah, a plus a plus b, where a is the length of the, uh, the length of the um, the list. Sorry, the the head, yeah, the the uh, a link list or the the head a, all the way to the end of the link list, and plus b because we're traversing from here to here and then from here to here, right? So in this case, they're all moving at the same same time. So we basically, it's gonna be A plus B for time complexity. 
Um, so in this case, the space complexity in this case is constant. Uh, we're not using any hash set or anything to save it onto the memory. Um, so in this case, time complexity is big O of A plus B, and the space complexity in this case is constant. Okay. 